We're out here at Exposed 06, having some fun out here in Seattle, out here at Quest Field, having a lot of fun, and I just ran into... My name is Timothy Desper. Hey, Timothy, how are you today? And uh, great. It's a great day. A lot of attention on the car, a lot of attention for Scions, and it's, it's what I love to do. I've got two of them. Started with an XB, and now moved on to the TC. My wife loves her box, and I love my TC, and we just want to come out and represent for Scion at any event we can. So. That is awesome. So why don't you tell me a little bit about your TC? Well, it's an 05 Scion TC, as you can see here. It's got the vertical door conversion, a lot of custom stuff. Um, it's a Daylight Demon Eyes. It's got a nitrous kit. It's got its X ni wet nitrous kit. Um, it's also got the 19-inch Koenig Unknowns, full race, uh, full race harness cage. The, the TC I built, I wanted to keep it a kind of a subtle sleeper clean look to it. So we've got the front logo painted to match the car. Everything to the Omnitsa Daylight Demon Eyes, to the strobes for a little show effect. You also notice that the front reflectors are tinted to match the car. And then everything in the interior I wanted to keep. So I, I bought an Optima yellow top, painted it black, put the air diversion panel to kind of clean it up, give it a little bit of a silver look on the inside. You can also see the Zex wet nitrous kit is the little purple box right by the intake up there. That's a 75 shot wet nitrous kit straight into the engine. Gives you about 75 more horsepower at the push of a button. It's right, we're riding on Koenig Unknown 19s with BF Goodrich KDW NT G-Force tires. It's got the vertical door kit by JT Auto Style. The Tenzo R Type R Evolution racing seats to keep it a kind of a match look on the interior. The Technique Quick Release Steering Wheel Hub Adapter. And if you move over to the right, you'll see the automatic radio cover by tcover.net and also the Alpine IVAW200 double DIN DVD touchscreen deck. It's got the B&M short shifter with a gritty weighted shift knob, a Pexi SAFC2 air fuel controller. The nitrous switches are actually hidden in the change holder there, so I can actually open up my nitrous tank from the inside of the car, purge it, and run it straight from the change holder in there. Also have the six strobe controller and the front headlights in the interior and the footwells and also in the tail lights there. You'll see that they'll strobe in the back. And if you look in the back, you'll see the detachable race wheel, the, the Zex nitrous tank with the auto open valve and some custom MTX eight inch speakers mounted on the floor. There's also a lot of little things like the tinted tail lights, the shaved hatch with no Scion logos on the back. So from the outside, it's a very subtle, clean car. That is awesome. That's one of the cleanest TCs I've ever seen. You've done a really good job. And from what I hear, you haven't let a shop touch this at all. No. Me and my father did all of the work in the garage. Some of the, the subtle painting work, like getting the taillights tinted, some of the interior paint work to match the outside of the car was done by a body shop just to get those clean. But all of the install on the car, from the doors to the cage, to the sound deadening, to the nitrous kit, to all the engine performance, we all did in our own garage. That is amazing. So what, what got you into cars? What, what started the whole thing? Well, I started with VWs. I had a VW Golf and then I moved to Passat. And then when the Scion brand came out, I saw the XB and at the price point it was and the modifications that were starting to come out for them, it was building up and I saw that that was a new kind of generation of modding for cars. So I bought an XB up a month after they came out, saw the TC when they came out and had to have one. So I transferred the XB to my wife, popped, popped and went out and bought a TC and then have been modding it ever since. Day two I had it, I put the TRD springs on myself and then ever since then I just got addicted and have been modding consistently for the last year. So I've been showing the last year and have a few trophies from a lot of the shows I've been to in the last year and then look forward to showing here later. I've been Scion Night 2 in San Francisco was an awesome event. Any Scion event I can get to where I get to see all these Scions together is just, it's crazy. You get to see a lot of owners and get a lot of good ideas for our cars. I'm one of the moderators on scionlife.com. You can go to Scion Life and look for the username We Drive Scions. Me and my wife, we love to drive Scions, we love to support them, so that's what I thought the best name would be. So if you just do a, a forum lookup for the profile of We Drive Scions, you'll see a list of all of my modifications, a few pictures from some of the shows, and you can look through all of my posts. I do a lot of how-tos on how to do the same thing I did for the car, so you can read up on how you can modify the Scion just like I have. I share any information, so if you want to send me a message, I'll definitely get back to you and I can help you out with any questions you have about my ride or about modifying your ride yourself. So that can, that can definitely help you out. Once again, that's on www.scionlife.com and my username is We Drive Scions. That is awesome, Tim. That is, that is awesome. And that just shows, you know, the, that just shows the kind of people Scion owners are. We want to help each other out. We want to mod everything up and, and make it our own. That's awesome. Thanks, Tim. No problem. Thank you. Thank you.